Alrighty now in three, two, one, go. You're probably wondering why exactly we're throwing this perfectly good firewood into the creek. And long story short, we were just running out of options. This day started as planned by us hooking up the dump trailer in order to clean up the wood that I sawed up in my last video. I got hooked up and we headed back to the spot where we were going to load up the wood. Our first option on moving the wood was using the skid steer, and I started out having to swap the grapple bucket to the regular bucket. Alright, attachments are swapped out, went from the grapple to the regular bucket, now it's time to move some wood. Alright, before we get everything completely moved out of here, there's a couple pieces that I didn't completely saw all the way and they're still really long. So I'm going to have to come back through and cut a couple of those up. It's just, I think, just this one, and I might have those big rounds right there just to make them easier to get out. So a little bit of sawing, then we're going to be moving. Got all this stuff cut up, and two more over there. My brother just got here with the skid steer. He's going to help me drive. But instead of driving to help me, my brother had a more important job to use the skid steer for, so that plan fell through. All right, well, the skid steer ended up having to be used for another project, so I can't use it anymore. But I got the next best thing. Let's see those guns, Noah. Ha, ha, ha. Give me a split. Yes, sir. Got Noah with me. He's the he's got enough power of about 10 skid steers. So we're just gonna end up packing out that wood from the side of the hill there. Uh, I'll just get the trailer as close as I can without running up the yard or whatever and still getting it into a spot where we can load it a little bit decently and it won't be too tough. But with the temperature rising and the sun beating down, we decided packing 100 percent of the wood up this incline was probably going to result in one of us passing out. So like this gets your idea, the plan of packing every piece of wood up this hill fell through as well. And this is where the idea of throwing the wood into the creek was born. We're going to be using this moving body of water, this little creek behind the house, to our advantage. We're going to take all these pieces, we just did a little bit of a test. We're going to take all these pieces, throw them in the water, and with the current moving, we're going to use the current to be able to get it down a little bit. I'll get the dump trailer right there by the creek. Noah or myself is going to be throwing it in. It'll get down to the other end, and we'll be able to take it all out, load it from the water into the trailer. I've never done this before, but it sounds like a pretty good idea. What do you think? All right, let's try this. All righty, now in three, two, one, go. <laughs> As you can see, I swapped clothes just in case it get a little bit wet. But uh, <laughs> let's see if this even works. I don't know how it's gonna do with all the pieces at once. Let's get the chucking. All right, already been about a minute and all these rounds are starting to make their way down pretty well. Might have to back up a little bit, but we'll see if they end up rolling right to me. And if they do, that's going to be cake. Let's see if the pieces come over here to the side like this. It's just as easy as one, two, three. All right. It's going to work a little better than we thought. There were a couple long pieces I didn't trim down enough, and they're definitely a bear to move by yourself, let alone doing it while you're trying not to get soaking wet. So we decided to only move rounds from that point on. Leave the big pieces. If the rounds didn't end up flowing off to the right though, they started compiling nicely onto the shallow area of the creek gravel. And once the trailer was into position, it was just a constant battle of making sure no pieces got by me. With the two test pieces we threw in originally, I thought the rounds were going to go in a lot slower, but they ended up flowing up down the creek really fast. So if this shallow area wasn't there, all my wood would probably just floated down the stream and I would have lost about half of it. But I ended up being very pleased with how the plan unfolded. When it came to moving these bigger pieces that got stuck in the gravel, the water was making the rounds much much easier to move them and roll around and the only hard part was lifting the rounds into the trailer. And since I kept it straight back and lifted with my legs, it was no issue. And it was easier for Noah to get them into the water because he just had to kick them off the edge or just simply throw them into the water, now walking up and down the hill with heavy pieces a hundred times. I tell you what, that was pretty cool. Yeah, this was pretty fun. Got a decent amount of this thrown in there off of the hill that was less that we had to pack up and move. All right, so let's get this thing closed up and get back up to the top. Overall, I'd say we got about half of it using the creek method. I didn't want to load the trailer up too much and potentially get the truck stuck in the creek, but who was I kidding? The truck pulled the load out with no problem at all. We still got the really big rounds right there. And then of course the round of all rounds. So we'll just pull the trailer up for the rest after we dump that into the spot where we're gonna split. Let's do this. Before we did any more work, we enjoyed a true delicacy of fried morel mushrooms. They go wild in the woods this time of year, and there are tons of people that love hunting them. To cook them, all you do is flour them up, throw them in oil, and add lots and lots of salt. Damn, man, that, looks, that looks pretty cool. I like throwing them in a piece of white bread and making a little mini sandwich out of them. They are really, really good, and a lot of people love them. <laughs> After lunch, we were heading back and got flagged down by someone wanting to buy the load of creekwood we were on our way to split. So we happily obliged. 
It wasn't out of our way, and we didn't have to split it. A win-win. After about five or six trips to the trailer, we should have thrown almost all this wood into the water looking back and let the current do the heavy lifting because heaving and hoeing each of these rounds into the trailer, especially since we were on this steep incline, was very, very hard work and we were getting wore out pretty quick. And don't even get me started on these huge blocks. Some of them took more than one person and they were just really terrible to get up. And they about flatlined us both. But we managed and we got them all up. <sighs> okay. If I'm uh, ever in the... Mood to have a firewood operation on the side of this hill. I got the perfect way to move it. Oh, lesson learned. Getting a good workout at least. We just got this last big piece. And unfortunately it's not very round. Because it's got a little bit of a fork off. But we'll get it up there. Alright, on these really big blocks, obviously they're really heavy. Don't want us to strain our backs putting them in there. I'm going to put a big slit in the middle of it so we can bust it with them all in half. Do that on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Make them easier to pick up and save our backs. All right, with these being slitted about three quarters of the way down, should be able to bust them with the old mall and they should have up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Some of these split like a hot knife through butter, while others I just had to saw up all the way through. No problem though, swinging them all or working a saw, it's all a lot of fun to me. Yes sir! No! Stop, please! Nope. Shoot! <laughs> oh well. Alright, we'll load this up then we'll split. Got out of there, we're to the spot where we're gonna dump it. And I'm gonna put this maple right here. Toss it in. We're gonna split some of this up. We're gonna do all that cherry, do a little bit of a hybrid load. But first, let's split. The maple splits great with them all, so Noah went to work chopping away and throwing it in. I grabbed the kinetic and we split about half a rick for this delivery. With about a half a rick in the trailer, I still needed about two more, so we backed up to this cherry pile and we started loading it up. Ah, a few more pieces, and we're gonna go deliver, stack, and call it a day. Time to deliver. We dumped it close because there was already a half a rick stacked up and we didn't need to start stacking from the bottom. So we started stacking away and after a few minutes we had it all stacked up and we were ready to take off. Done. Let me know in the comments what cinematic masterpiece we were recreating with this iconic handshake. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Driving back I was mentioning how much of a farmer's tan I thought I had. Then Noah showed me his arm and he clearly took the cake, going from pure white to stop sign red on his shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. With our arms burned up, the wood stacked and off the hill and out of the creek, that concludes the video. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. God bless and have a good one.